Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at my room, my workstation, my setup and everything that I use um, to do the daily live streaming and the video editing and the YouTube videos and pretty much everything that I need to do on a daily basis. Today we're gonna take a look at my workstation. Now this is part number three in a three part series. So if you haven't seen part number one and two, I will leave links to those videos in the comments or in the description rather right below that like button uh, where you can actually see what this system all contains of with all the parts in the actual computer and also see me building on the PC. Now as you can see this is my room, this is where I work and this is where I get shit done pretty much. Um, as you can see it is really really minimal and a lot of people may find it too minimal, the real minimalistic people might, uh, might find that there's too much clutter going on, uh, but I'm very very comfortable with this. I like the way this is and this is pretty much my ideal slash dream setup um, because it contains everything that I really want from a computer and uh, a little bit more than that. As you can see, I got a dual monitor set up right now. Now the dual monitors are both Samsung UHD monitors, meaning that they have a 4K resolution, meaning that both of these monitors basically contain twice as many pixels in the height as well as in the width of any standard 1080p screen. Meaning that I have way more workstation and, and workspace on my desktop. Now this is really really nice for anyone who uses a computer mostly for a workstation. If you're gonna be gaming off of it, obviously that is also something I do. Um, make sure you get a much stronger graphics card because you need a whole lot to run it. Um, but these are absolutely awesome. The monitors are called Samsung U28D590. And those are, like I said, 28 inch monitors that are 4K UHD resolution. Next up, we have the webcam that I use. This is the webcam that you will mostly see on the live stream, and this is a Logitech C920. Now the nice thing about this webcam is that it has its own little CPU built in, meaning that it does all the image processing itself. So your computer really doesn't get stressed at all by this thing, and the video quality is superb. One thing though to keep in mind is that you really need good lighting if you want your webcam to look even remotely decent. Next up we have the mouse that I use. I use a Razer Death Adder 2013. As you can see it has this little nice glowing effect on it. Honestly it's just a really really perfect mouse for my hand. Um, not much to be complaining about. Obviously it's only a mouse but it is worth investing a little bit of money in getting a decent one that actually fits your hand well. And this is so far the best mouse that I have found. Uh, because it just fits my hand very well. I got rather big hands, um, so I need actually, you know, a mouse that is somewhat, somewhat bigger than the average one, and um, this one works really, really well. The mousepad that I'm using underneath it is a Razer Destructor 2, which is a hard mousepad, and it has actually a really nice texture on it, um, and obviously, because it's the same company, it works really, really well together with the Death Adder. Once again, nothing to complain about, I'm really, really happy with it. Next up we have the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition 2014 with the green Razer switches. Honestly the switches are very very similar to blue switches and brown switches, sort of like a combination between the two. They're not quite as loud as blue switches I find, um, but they're also a little bit harder to press uh, than, the, uh, than the brown switches. Honestly I'm, I'm really, really comfortable with it. Um, it is obviously something that's completely up to you as far as like mechanical keyboards go. Um, it's completely up to you what you prefer, but I am very very happy with this one. As you can see, it is a 10 keyless keyboard, meaning that on the right side I do not have a numpad or anything like that, uh, which is the way I prefer it for gaming. This is pretty much the ideal setup for me, because I don't like having my, uh, my hands too far apart. And this one actually works really nicely because I don't have that extra, you know, an extra like 10-20 centimeters of numpad on the right side of the actual keyboard. These are the headphones that I love using. Now I get tons of questions about these and these are the Sennheiser HD 598s. Those are headphones that are really really good if you listen to any kind of like you know, musical music, and with musical music I mean music that actually uses instruments. So if you listen to a lot of guitar music, or piano music, or drums, or you know, any kind of folk music, or you know, any anything like that, these are absolutely awesome. They are very, very clear, but 
it comes at the cost that the bass is not very good. So if you're someone that listens to club music or anything like that, which I personally don't really ever do, um, it, it, they're, they're not gonna be very good for you. But if you listen to the same type of music that I listen to, uh, which is mostly like folk slash guitar sort of music, um, these are really, really, really nice. And most importantly, they're extremely comfortable, which is the main reason why I use them. Uh, because I end up being on my computer for pretty much most of the day, I need headphones that are very comfortable and these definitely are. Now whenever I'm not at my computer, I use an Acer Chromebook. This is the C720P, uh, which is actually a little touchscreen Chromebook. Now you might think that it's extremely overpriced and expensive, but honestly, any kind of Chromebook is really, really affordable and cheap right now. I use this mostly for studying um, when I'm at university and when I do my other stuff as well when I'm just not at my PC um, and I need to be using some sort of computer. This is usually my go-to um, machine. And honestly, it's really, really nice. It's really, really portable and it has a little touch screen that makes browsing and whatnot a whole lot more, you know, a whole lot more convenient. Next up, we have the phone that I've been using for a pretty long time right now. This is the HTC One M7. Um, this is indeed the old HTC One, so to say, but honestly, it has everything that I need. I do use a custom ROM as well as a custom kernel, allowing me to pretty much every everything um, that the M8 uses as well. I can double tap to wake it, and um, it is running the um, the stock Android experience, which I prefer personally. It's just a whole lot nicer than the uh, the HTC Sense stuff. And honestly, I don't really plan on upgrading anytime soon unless this one breaks or something but I'm very 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 happy with the way it runs it does everything I need and you know that's pretty much all on the phone really needs to do last but not least it is the microphone that we are currently listening to as well this is the blue Yeti microphone and it's a quite an affordable microphone actually um, if you want a USB mic obviously there's like much more expensive and much more professional setups uh, but because I do a little bit of audio editing whenever I record everything and I do some noise reduction and all that sort of stuff I honestly don't really need a whole lot more so if you're looking to basically maybe start some some YouTube series yourself or some live streaming this is a really really solid microphone uh, by the blue company and obviously it's not blue because well else it wouldn't be from the blue microphones basically all the blue mics are not blue it's sort of like a little inside joke they have going on at these offices I suppose and obviously, last but not least, it is going to be the system that is powering it all. Like I said, make sure um, you check those first links right below that like button in the, in the uh, description of this video. It will take you straight to the actual build of this system and you will be able to see exactly um, what I picked for building this computer as well as everything that I used to actually build the whole system. Now, honestly, this is pretty much, like I said, my dream system. I don't really want anything changed. Sure, there are a couple of upgrades that I'm still looking to do, such as like a microphone, um, such as like, you know, other little thingies, but honestly, it is not a big deal. I'm very, very happy with this, and I don't really plan on upgrading anytime soon. This is pretty much my dream setup, and I hopefully hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, make sure you hit that dislike button. But whatever you do, make sure to subscribe, because there will be a lot more videos coming to you in the very near future. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!